On the 29th of September 1918, the German Supreme Army Command urged Kaiser Wilhelm II to open negotiations for an armistice after Allied troops broke through the Hindenburg Line. Welcome to History Pod. By the autumn of 1918, Germany had exhausted its resources, both in terms of manpower and material. Their spring offensive had ground to a halt in July, leading the Allies to mount their own attack in what became known as the Hundred Days Offensive. After early victories broke the German front line, the Allies advanced towards the main German defensive fortifications that made up the Hindenburg Line and from which the Germans had launched their offensive in the spring. A combined attack by American and French troops on the 28th of September was followed by a coordinated assault around the San Quentin Canal the following day. Germany's Supreme Army Command, led by Generals Paul von Hindenburg and Erich Ludendorff, recognised the dire situation. The Allies' continuous advances, coupled with internal unrest and food shortages, left Germany with limited options. Their allies elsewhere were also in disarray. In response, the Supreme Army Command informed the German leadership that the situation was hopeless and demanded that they seek a ceasefire immediately. While this shifted responsibility from the army to the politicians, it also signalled the military leadership's acknowledgement of defeat. Nevertheless, the road to an armistice was to be a long one, with Ludendorff himself urging the resumption of war just a month later after declaring the Allies' conditions for negotiation unacceptable. The armistice of Compiègne was eventually signed on November the 11th, 1918. <laughs> 